Hey, what's happening, game one? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, and for those of you who are tuning in to Destiny today, you probably noticed that you had to install a patch and are wondering what exactly was it? What did they change? What did they add? So, here for this video, I'm here to let you know exactly what has happened. This is known as the Destiny Hotfix 1.2.0.5. Honestly, I wish they would come up with a better name for these. Anyways, here is pretty much what has happened, starting with the weapons. The fixed an issue where packing heat, achievement, or trophy, depending on your system of choice, cannot be unlocked by newly acquired exotic weapons. We've also fixed an issue where Husk of the Pit drops were disabled, along with drop rates for Husk of the Pit from Blades of Crota have been increased by 150%. I gotta say, where was this when I was farming for that thing? Next up for PvP, this includes the maps within House of Wolves. They've actually lowered the weight in the rotation for specific maps like Rest of Land, Shores of Time, Phantom, Exodus Blue, which is a Sony exclusive map, etc. So that way you don't have to play on this map multiple times and you have a chance to play on other maps instead of a repeatable process. Next up, Special Ammo, Initial Spawn Time, and Respawn Intervals have been changed to 180 seconds. They've also maxed three special ammo crates will now be placed at one time and heavy ammo crates will now spawn only once per match at 300 seconds. Next up for the tower, Tess, which is pretty much the person who took care of your special orders in front of the tower who doesn't get as much attention as some of the other vendors out there. She is pretty much leaving the tower. She's going on some paid vacation as to where not exactly certain but you know like i said she's currently on vacation so she's not located in the tower as you can see in this video but for those of you kind of curious how exactly do you obtain your special orders well if you head down to the north end of the tower there is a little terminal which you can access which will have your items there uh, indicated by my guardian over here demonstrating that for you also to the Nephil Aid Shader and Emblem have been added to the game. Redemption codes will soon be sent to emos used to place orders in the Bungie store. And these items can be found at the kiosk mentioned above. Or as what I just mentioned in this video. And of course last but not least for the technical issues. They fixed a potential crash when closing the vendor screen. Fixing a very rare case where an account could be blocked by a weasel error or sign on and they've also fixed an issue with the suspend and resume handling on the xbox one so what do you guys think about this i mean for those of you mainly involving the husk of the pit are you guys excited about that one do you still need the necrochasm the one where you upgrade a common weapon to the uh, most tetris exotic weapon in the game or in this case hopefully it might be good with the next weapon buff but anyways, feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming. <laughs>